Welcome back to Hardly Tech. Today we're taking a look at the MSI Ventus 3X RTX 3060 Ti. This card features the Zero Frozer fan set. This features 8GB of GDDR6 on a 256-bit bus. This is also a low hash rate card from MSI. Sorry mining friends, this card is mainly for gaming. We've got our insert featuring installation instructions and a membership sleeve. So here it is. Let's get it opened up and take a closer look. Since this card features three fans, one of these fans is for pass-through cooling. There's a single eight pin power connector an aluminum heat sink that also covers the RAM chips with fairly thick thermal pads. Hmm. Let's take a quick look at the bottom side here. Not too bad. Looks like it's all aluminum. This card also features 4864 CUDA cores, three display ports, and one HDMI port. It's not super dense or heavy. In fact, it's probably about half the weight of the 3080 Ti. But I think the pass-through cooling will really help with transferring heat out of the case and away from the card. Alright, let's get this card installed in the system and take a look at performance. Here are the system specs. And today's games will be Borderlands 3, F1 2019, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Far Cry 5, and Metro Exodus.
Estaré aquí toda la noche. ¡Ey! ¡Cuidado, niños!
Here's a quick look at some ray tracing performance while we discuss the results. I have to admit, I'm a bit conflicted on this card. On the one hand, if you can get your hands on this card at MSRP or only slightly above, it's not a bad card to buy. Performance is decent for 1080p and 1440p. However, if you're coming from something like a 1080 Ti or a 1080, or maybe even the 5700, this isn't really an upgrade, this is more of a side grade. Power draw while gaming was generally between 180 and 200 watts, which isn't bad for this gaming target. The three fans on this thing kept it fairly cool. I never saw temps get above 60 Celsius, and noise levels were respectable. 
definitely not the loudest card I've ever had in my system. So do I recommend this card? Overall, yes. If you're coming from an entry-level card, or even a mid-level card that might be from the 10 series, or the RX 400 or 500 series from AMD, or if you've got an RX 5000, this might be an upgrade option for you. I didn't take a long look at ray tracing performance with this card, though I did play some Minecraft RTX, and performance was decent with DLSS on at 4K. With it off, I only got about 15 to 18 frames per second. With DLSS on, I got about 45 frames per second. So I think what we'll do next is compare this card directly to the previous two generations, the 2080 Super and the 1080 Ti, starting with a 1080p performance video. So keep your eyes open for that. Thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please click that like and subscribe buttons. Click that bell so you know when the next videos come out. Share this video with anybody who might be looking at the 3060 Ti as an upgrade option. And tell me what you'd like to see in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.